Microsoft office, it's my honor to be able to kick off this press conference to announce a very exciting uh, initiative that we are launching. So uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and begin. But good morning. I'm Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez, and thank you all for joining us. The Harris County Sheriff's Office is excited to announce the launch of the Lights On Pilot Program, a proactive initiative aimed at improving road safety and fostering positive police community interactions. This program is set to launch today, November 1st, in the East Harris County and East Alding area. We're very excited to be bringing this uh, program to, to the community there. The, uh, Lights On is a community-driven program that aims to heal uh, and support police community relationships by replacing equipment violation tickets with repair vouchers redeemable at partnered auto shops. Instead of receiving a citation for minor, minor vehicle violations, qualified individuals with val valid driver's licenses and insurance will be eligible to receive vouchers covering up to $250 for repairing inoperable headlights, taillights, turn signals, or license plate lights at vetted repair shops. The program has succeeded in other law enforcement jurisdictions across the United States. For some families, a broken taillight or turn signal can sometimes mean choosing between a minor auto repair and buying groceries. A citation for these minor offenses can lead to further financial strain. The Lights On program gives deputies a valuable tool to engage with drivers and offer a helpful solution rather than a ticket. I want to point out as well that this will be uh, up to the uh, deputy's discretion when they're out there to make sure that they're finding the appropriate uh, families and individuals to provide these vouchers for. The Lights On initiative will initi initially launch in East Harris County and will expand to other districts in the coming months. I must acknowledge uh, the chairman, uh, Franco Valobra. Uh, we also have another board member, uh, David DeLeon, with the Harris County Sheriff's Office Foundation, who play an integral role in this collaboration, helping to ensure the successful implementation of the program. If there are any other interested local auto service providers that would like to join us in expanding to other parts of the county, please contact our Community Engagement Division. I would like to highlight and thank our initial vendors for this program, Texas Inspection Station in Humble, Joe's Automotive Service Center in Houston, POZ Impact in Houston, and Ortega Automotive also in Houston. Again, we are grateful for this partnership which will benefit the community by promoting safety and financial relief while supporting local auto shops and enhancing the Sheriff's Office relationship with our community. And we have a stellar group here today, including Mr. Sherman Patterson, uh, the Vice President of Lights On, and we were talking just what amazing success they've seen in just a, a short amount of, of years uh, with the launch of this program. This uh, program is now uh, pretty much nationwide. It's in over 21 states, over 160 plus cities, 380 uh, different auto centers, and they've heard so many uh, incredible testimonies of just individuals that have benefited from the program and uh, we, we want to wish them great success and want to see them continue to grow. They've issued over 10,600 vouchers already in their uh, short few years and we know that the best is still yet to come and they're doing tremendous work. Um, also want to say something uh, briefly in Spanish before I turn it over to the other uh, guests here today. Buenos días, soy el Alguacil González. Gracias a todos por acompañarnos. Nos reunimos para dar inicio al lanzamiento del programa piloto Luces Encendidas, en inglés Lights On, una iniciativa proactiva destinada a mejorar la seguridad y fomentar interacciones positivas con nuestra comunidad. El programa eh, entró en efecto hoy, en el primero de noviembre, en la área de East Alding. Lights On es un programa que sustituye multas por cupones de reparación en talleres asociados. En lugar de recibir una infracción, las personas que cumplan los requisitos y tengan su licencia de conducir y seguro válidos podrán recibir un cupón de valor hasta $250 dólares para reparar luces intermitentes o luces de matrícula en talleres autorizados. El programa ha tenido éxito en otras jurisdicciones de nuestro país. Para algunas familias, reparar un luz o un intermitente puede significar a veces tener que elegir entre una reparación o la compra de otras cosas esenciales. Una multa por estas infracciones menores puede producir problemas, más problemas económicos. La iniciativa se pondrá en marcha inicialmente en la zona de East Alden y se ampliará a otros distritos en los próximos meses. La fundación de la oficina del Guasil del Condado Harris desempeña un papel integral 
en la colaboración, uh, ayudando a garantizar el éxito de la implementación de este programa. Si hay algún proveedor local de servicios automovilísticos interesados que quiera unirse a nosotros, póngase en contacto con nuestra división de participación comunitaria. Me gustaría destacar y agradecer a nuestros proveedores iniciales, es la estación de inspecciones de Texas en la ciudad de Humble y los centros en Houston de Joe's Automotive Service Center, POZ Impact y Ortega Automotive. Una vez más, estamos agradecidos por esta uh, asociación que beneficiará a la comunidad mediante la promoción de la seguridad y el alivio financiero, mientras que el apoyo a los talleres de automóviles locales y la mejora de la relación de nuestra agencia con la comunidad. Muchas gracias a todos. And I also want to just again commend uh, the initial work in really bringing this wonderful concept here locally. I want to, in his absence, uh, Chief Deputy Mike Lee, I know Assistant Chief Tommy Diaz uh, was on the ground floor as well, making sure we were researching this, as well as Sergeant Donnie Williams that's uh, back here as well. The tremendous leaders, and, and we appreciate them for, for bringing to, to this forefront. Um, at this point, I um, want to just uh, Turn it over again. I mentioned the uh, the uh, importance of uh, the Harris County Sheriff's Foundation, and want to just have them talk about why the foundation supports its initiatives and the importance of supporting the sheriff's office. So, without further ado, we have the chairman Franco Valobra and David De Leon with the foundation. Thank Gentlemen. you, Sheriff. Thank you. Um, it's such a pleasure to be here. Uh, Twelve years ago, on well, thirteen years ago, when we started these foundations. Uh, the idea was to help uh, the men and women of the Sheriff's Office to carry on their duty in the safest and most efficient way possible. And yes, uh, we, we funded the uh, bulletproof vest, we funded all kinds of equipment, including the windshield, uh, the bulletproof windshield just of lately. But we think that this is actually even more important, more important. If there is a best reason to show that police department, Sheriff's Office, should not be defunded, but should be funded properly. This is a classical example. This will no, without any doubt, help improve the relationship between law enforcer and citizenships. And we are very glad to be behind it. I can't wait to listen to Mr. Sherm's uh, explanation on how it works, but 10,600 interaction, positive interaction between law enforcers and citizens that ended up, instead of a ticket, in helping them. So this is what we need to do, and the foundation is committed to do it for as long as it needed. Thank you. Now we're excited to learn more about this wonderful program, uh, Lights On, and with us here today to tell us how to get involved, how individuals can donate, sign up as an auto partner, and more about the program, we have the Vice President, Mr. Sherm Patterson. Good morning, Sheriff, Franco, David, Harris County Police Department, Donnie as well. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me here. Uh, it's a great where I'm from Minneapolis. I think I'm going to move here because it was snowing and very cold <laughs> when I left yesterday morning. And I got here and everybody, everyone was saying it's cold. I'm looking at them. <laughs> so I want to say that. So lights on. We're here in Harris County. And Sheriff, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, first of all, Harris County is the largest department that's, uh, that's coming on mm -hmm. nationwide because you have almost a population, if I'm correct, about five million, four plus, close, yeah, four, four, close four plus million. Four plus million. So uh, Chief Benner and uh, Chief mm -hmm. McManus said they're going to be kind of jealous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, we welcome it. <laughs> we welcome so with that being said, uh, lights on. So in 2016, if you don't know, you know many, uh, Minnesota and Minneapolis have been at the epicenter of a lot of things between law enforcement and the community. And we had a tragic uh, incident which, in which someone lost their life, uh, Philando Castile, between, uh, between the law, uh, law enforcement officer and himself. Uh, he, got, he had gotten stopped for a blown taillight. So that went south. He lost his uh, life, unfortunately. So during that time, my CEO uh, at the time was Don Samuels, who came up with the concept, how can we bridge that gap between law enforcement and the community? Because one cannot do it without the other. We all need each other. So with that, he came up with lights on. When someone is stopped for a blown headlight, taillight, turn signal, or something electrically related, instead of them getting a ticket, they'll get a voucher that we will pay up to, that will be paid up to $250. So what that does is, is it addresses uh, positive police uh, interaction, 
a public safety issue, and then from a socioeconomic standpoint, as the sheriff said. Believe it or not, when that, after the checks are ran and that, uh, that deputy or that officer comes back to that car and they present that, uh, that voucher, the wow effect happens. It's a win, win, win. The anxiety comes down on both parties. You see the conversation starts. They're talking with each other instead of at each other. And for the social media uh, uh, perspective, they're saying, can I take a selfie? Can I put this on IG from a positive manner? not from a negative, what are you doing? Not mm -hmm. from a fear factor. There is conversation, the humanity is there. And we see, and we often know that someone who's been stopped, and I'm sure, quite sure your deputies have stopped some time, someone over and over again, whereas, hey, they can't afford this here. And that builds up until the, the, uh, the amount of the ticket goes up, the court costs. They can even lose their license, potential jail time, but individuals, motorists are making those hard decisions. Can I pay my rent? Can I do uh, child care? Can I feed my kids? Can I feed myself? Even in two household in uh, incomes, you just never know someone's situation. And on the flip side of that, that deputy or that officer may have been having a, just a, a bad day, but when they stop this individual or those individuals and they present that voucher, wow. So when they're going home, they're talking at the tables, they're talking to their peers, and then it's just a domino effect. It's a cancer that you know, we're stopping the cancer from metastasizing, from a positive standpoint. And when, uh, when as the sh uh, sheriff said, we have redeemed 10,600 vouchers. Think about that. You're going into the community, telling the community about this. The deputies are telling their peers about this. You know, as I said, it's a win-win. So with lights on, you know, we are not the be-all solution, but we are part of the solution. It's another tool for a tool belt. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I'll take any questions after that because I can go on and on and on, mm -hmm. but I'm not. So uh, Franco, again, thank you. David, thank mm -hmm. you. Sheriff, mm -hmm. thank you. And you, the deputies of the Half County Sheriff's Department, yeah, thank, yeah. You. thank you. Thank you. Great job. And I think uh, Mr. Patterson <coughs> said it well. That th this isn't uh, the only solution, but I think every day uh, most law enforcement officers are deputies suit up out there to serve and protect to truly find ways to help others. I know that's why I do it every day. I know why these uh, police leaders here with me do it every day. And this gives us one more opportunity to be able to serve our community. We're a part of the community and being able to, to help in a positive way instead of simply issuing a ticket. Uh, it could be a hardship for someone. It's a negative experience. And if we could help someone, especially as we're starting a, a new month, going into a busy holiday season, then, then that's a positive thing and it's a win-win. For everybody and I and without um, I'd be remiss not to personally recognize the, the my team members that are on the front lines to do tremendous work for the sheriff's office to my left we have uh, lieutenant Santos uh, out here and then we have uh, major Dean uh, we have uh, yeah major Dean already sergeant Garza sergeant Williams captain leg uh, deputy Hernandez and captain John Nanny as well so at this point uh, we're ready to answer any questions that you may have why this community first? Uh, the East Alden community? Um, that was just uh, where uh, we decided to launch because that's where uh, the initial uh, uh, service providers that we were able to identify uh, were located and we felt that that was a good opportunity. Plus we have great leadership there led by Lieutenant Santos and um, Sergeant uh, Garza as well. So we really feel that that's a great place to get it started. Uh, we always like to, to have proof of concept to make sure that it's working and then we could perfect it, uh, make sure that we're uh, informing and educating our own uh, workforce, our deputies, so they could see how it works I instead of just doing massive scale from the beginning and then we're kind of having a re reverse after that. So love the Alding community and, and so it's a great place to start. Yeah. Sí, en la East Alding, simplemente porque los, 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 uh, los centros de servicio que pudimos identificar, los iniciales, están localizados, están ubicados en un lugar cerca de, de esa comunidad y también tenemos gran liderazgo uh, con el, el Teniente Santos y la Sargenta Garza que están aquí. Entonces es una, una buena área para iniciar el programa, para ver cómo está funcionando, mejorar el programa. Seguir, como mencionamos anteriormente, identificar más centros de servicio que quieran participar y de ahí podemos seguir creciendo el programa. Es la meta. Actualmente, ¿cuánto es aproximadamente la multa por una infracción menor de, en este caso, de no tener funcionando correctamente las luces? 
puede ser hasta cientos de dólares, depende de qué tantas cosas están dañadas. He's asking me, I don't know if anybody, it's been a while since I've written a ticket for one of these things. How much is the ticket? How much the range? Up to 500. Puede ser hasta 500 dólares por, por uh, una infracción, uh, depende de la situación. Entonces, como mencionamos, uh, es algo, a veces se vuelve una situación que la gente quiere arreglar las cosas, pero no tienen dinero, las cosas están costando mucho más en esta economía, entonces si les podemos ayudar es algo positivo en vez de tener que poner una multa, arreglar la, la situación es mejor para las carreteras también y también para las personas y para todos. Yeah, it's a, again another way to improve road safety. We have some serious uh, road safety issues uh, in and around Harris County and then these uh, fines could be very costly up to $500 depending on the situation and we know so much things have, have gone up in price in the economy, and if this is something we could help our community collectively, then it's a positive step. And, and again, it's not, uh, you know, our deputies have that discretion to make sure that they're finding the best candidates. Nuestros oficiales van a estar buscando los mejores candidatos para el programa, que, que sean personas que quieran hacer algo responsable y también mejorar la situación, es para que sigan siendo irresponsables, uh, y también para, para mejorar las carreteras también. Tenemos muchos incidentes de de uh, accidentes automovilísticos y uh, necesitan tener lo, las, 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 uh, los focos y todo que estén funcionando. If you can do it in English and Spanish, describe how, how it works. The officer will pull someone over with an infraction. Mm -hmm. They decide whether they want to give them this voucher or not. And then they have 14 days Correct. to replace it. What happens in those 14 days if they don't replace it? Yeah, well, uh, I, I think you you, uh, you laid it out already. Uh, a traffic stop occurs. Sometimes it could be for some type of manor, minor uh, moving traffic violation of some kind, or it could be a, a busted taillight or anything of, of, of these issues. And obviously, we want to make sure that we're keeping an eye on road safety. We've encouraged our deputies. You know, we got to try to reduce uh, major crashes that are occurring in our county. And, and, you know, being safe on the roads is very important. But as they interact with them, it's something that, Again, they have to have a valid driver's license and insurance to begin with, but if they find good candidates, then they could decide to uh, issue this voucher. They will have up to 14 days, and it's my understanding, and Mr. Patterson could uh, maybe elaborate on that. After the 14 days, technically the voucher expires, but uh, there may be situations where they could, uh, you know, hopefully uh, maybe still honor that voucher. Uh, but those are individual cases. But we really want to encourage people, like we were joking earlier, if you get a voucher, it's a good sign. Get it taken care of. Somebody's looking out for you. Uh, you know, do the right thing and get it fixed as well because we, we want to encourage responsible behavior. Uh, they're already driving around with, with a, a violation that could be cited and it could be very expensive. We're trying to extend an olive branch by doing the right thing and helping you get it corrected, but you could stop in get it corrected and do the right thing. But Mr. Patterson, it expires. Yeah. And, and yeah. So in re reference to your question about expiration date, we understand that life happens. So individual may, you know, work or sick uh, a week or two. Um, we'll, we'll honor that because, you know, they, uh, the auto center sends the invoice to uh, lights on and we pay it. However, if, you know, if someone has a uh, 45 days, 30 days, you know, you should, if it were me, I'm going within 48 to 72 hours to get it fixed because it's a priority because you can't, uh, someone says, well, I got this voucher and it's 30 to 45 days later, so what were you doing? So the motorist has to be accountable and responsible because that office, that uh, deputy or that officer is giving, you know, giving them that voucher. So it's not both. They don't get an infraction and no. a voucher. It's just either or. Yeah, uh, ideally, yeah, that we're going to, again, communicate that to our deputies. It's one or the other. If, if you're going to, Uh, you know, extend the, the voucher opportunity, then then that should be in lieu of a citation, but it wouldn't be correct if we're citing them and issuing them a violation, plus we're giving them, it should be one or the other. If you think that they're deserving of a traffic violation, I mean of the citation, again, doesn't mean they're guilty, it just means that uh, there's prob probable cause to issue that citation, and they'll have to, to resolve that to the court, but we hope that, uh, you know, we have great deputies, and I think most will understand the premise of, of what we're trying to do here, And it's an opportunity, and so the, the more people we could help, that's what we want to do, and we're excited for this opportunity. Hey, Sarah, um, the question is, um, how do you uh, uh, quash the uh, concerns that people might have that this is just leading to profiling? How can you guide uh, minor traffic violations? Yeah, well, I mean, actually, we, we've, uh, we've taken a look at some of our numbers, and actually our deputies are doing quite well in terms of Uh, we look at traffic stops, but we're also not issuing as many citations as we've issued in the past. So we're actually doing doing well. You know, sometimes we have to balance. You know, look at the other day, 
we, we want to support strong law enforcement. We want to make sure that we're keeping our community safe. Um, you know, in this region, uh, especially a couple years back, there was a big uptick on crime. We're all working with our, our public safety partners to reduce crime in our community. I think we're seeing some success in that. Um, so we want to make sure that we're out there policing, but we also want to do it in a fair manner. Um, and, you know, every traffic stop still needs to be done uh, professionally and correctly, and, uh, you know, profiling is not allowed. And we ask people if, if, if there's ever concerns or issues where they feel that somebody's being profiled, they need to bring that to our attention so we could address that individually. Um, you know, we definitely don't want to encourage that. And again, if somebody's looking to give a voucher, the, the point isn't to be out there stopping people just to give vouchers. Hopefully it's just in the process of their normal day as they come across someone that they think might be a violation because if they see something like this, we still want them to be driving safely. We're trying to reduce um, major crashes in our region. We have far too many. Uh, but at the same time, if we could help and again, and extend this opportunity, then we see it as a win-win. And again, that's why it's a pilot program as well. And this has been ba battle tested in other parts of the country and it seems to be working well. So we're gonna, we're gonna look at the positive aspects and if anything negative should come uh, in terms of how we're uh, conducting our business, then, then, then we're happy to try to address that. Mr. Yes, Patterson. So the great thing about, good, good question, question. So when that uh, motorist, uh, when they're at the auto center, there's a survey that they take about the interaction with the law, enforce, uh, law enforcement uh, deputy or uh, officer. So with that being said, uh, also the auto shop, the testimonials and the surveys that we get have gotten back, 99.2% are very satisfactory or satisfactory with their interaction with that, that law enforcement or deputy uh, mm -hmm. officer. So that tells you a lot. And we send those back. We will be sending those back to the sheriff's office so uh, he can see those and tell, that's t uh, giving them uh, information and data on how, they, how, how the program is doing and also how they can measure this here. Okay. As part of the pilot, how many... Are you starting off with how many vouchers? And do, do you have a, it, oh, is there a set uh, number? Well, we, for that um, for that particular mm -hmm. area, I'll give the, I can get that information for mm -hmm. you from Shar. See, I should have bought my team. With yeah, um, <laughs> I, I, I think it, it'll just be based on, on the volume that we see, yeah. right? I'm sure as they give out the vouchers, they, they could obviously start monitoring how many we're getting. And you know, if we're getting a, 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 a high number at first because it's popular, that's a good thing. We're helping people and I'm sure we could work with them to make sure that that we could uh, uh, arrange for those vouchers to be honored. So, and okay. The foundation have the foundation have actually committed twenty five thousand dollars originally, but we are ready to up our commitment as it's needed and as the program expand. Yeah, and that's a great point. I want to point out as well that no government dollars are being utilized for this program. It's all through the philanthropic community to these uh, fantastic business leaders and the rest of the foundation members. Also, I uh, want to encourage and challenge our big corporate community here in the greater Houston area to please work with Lights On, reach out. We could help connect you. In other cities, a lot of their athletic teams are behind this program and others. That's really what we want. We want this to be a public public private partnership. These aren't uh, tax dollars that are going to, to, to provide these vouchers, and I think that's important. It's really a community response to seeing how we could all do better in this space and help others out. Okay? Thank you very much.